So what is going on guys and welcome back to episode number two of our Sunderland career mode. So that's right, Sunderland did in fact win the career mode vote. I would, first of all, I'd like to say a massive thank you to everyone that had voted either on this one or the Nottingham Forest career mode. I'm sorry for everyone that voted for Nottingham Forest, but I did have to go with the majority and this one had around about 120 likes, whereas the Nottingham Forest had around about 60 likes. So it had nearly, well, double the amount of likes. So therefore... I obviously had to go with Sunderland. So I am really looking forward to starting this career mode. As you can see here, we have got the first game of the episode, which is going to be up against Werder Bremen, the German side. We're not actually going to be playing the pre-season tournament. And for all new subscribers to my channel, basically what I do is I don't play the European Cups. The um, I do obviously do play the Champions League, the Europa League, but I don't play the pre-season tournaments, mainly because I want to get through the transfers as soon as I can, bring in some new players and obviously start the new season season but we've got a few emails coming in here uh, we've got an update from Italy and we've got a few players leaving on international duty and also Ethan Robson saying he maybe wants a chance to play in the squad. I don't think so because he's not that good. But we're going to jump straight into the first game. The, the lineup I have put out at the moment, obviously we can't use DeAndre Yedling because he is currently on a tr um, international duty. But I think this is going to be probably our best possible lineup. The only problem is um, I am actually going to get rid of Adam Johnson. I don't know whether you guys will agree with me or disagree. But I am going to get rid of him because even though he hasn't been charged yet, there's still a possibility. And it, just me being me, I cannot allow that to be in my side. So what I'm going to basically do is not allow him to be in the side whatsoever. So we're going to go ahead and to sell him as soon as we can and maybe try and bring in a new right wing. Or we definitely need a new right wing because at the moment we're playing with Duncan Watmore. And let's be honest, he's not really up to the standards of the Premier League at this moment in time. But we are going to give him a few training uh, drills and be able to see how he gets on. But we jump into the first game now as we're going to sim it against Werder Bremen. So I think they're probably the hardest team in our group stage. So if we can get a decent result against these, a point I would... I would sign a point now. I'd love a point against Werder Bremen. Are we going to get one? No, we're not because we end up winning the game 2-0. Jermaine Defoe and Fletcher scoring the goals for us there. Pantillamon actually picks up an injury as well. So hopefully that's not going to be a big injury because Pantillamon is going to be our number one goalkeeper. So we're going to have a look here. The player injured. He's going to be out for eight weeks. So that's the first time in any of my career modes a goalkeeper's actually got injured. So now we've got a decision to make. Do we hold on for eight weeks with Vito Minone or do we bring in a new goalkeeper? I think we're probably going to hold on with Vito Minone because I want to bring in the Atletico Bilbao goalkeeper. But obviously he's on loan at the moment, so we can't bring him in at the moment. But we can either go for Butland or the Atletico Bilbao goalkeeper. But because loads of people go for Butland, I think I'm going to go for the other one and wait a little bit. So I think the first thing we need to try and do is bring in a new centre-back. So the people we've scouted are Jairo Riedewald, uh, Rugani, and this guy here from uh, Villarreal. He looks very good, 21 years of age. So we're going to go ahead and maybe offer to buy this guy. He's only 21, he's quite a young talent, and he's only on 30000 a week as well. But the problem is, he's actually just signed a new contract. So I think it's going to cost us quite a bit of money to get him away. So maybe if we go ahead and offer around about £5 million plus a player that we're not going to be using, which could be be Danny Graham. Do we get rid of Danny Graham? Or are we going to actually try and offload Jordi Gomez? But I don't think Villa are actually going to want him. We're also going to go in for Daniel Rugani. We're going to go ahead and offer a straight £6 million bid for for the 20-year-old from Juventus, and let's see if uh, they will or that if that will convince them to let him go. Also, a few other players that are young talents that would like to bring in Reese Oxford and Rico Henry are two of them. So I'm going to go in and try and buy both of them. So Reese Oxford, we're going to go in. Uh, they actually only want. I don't think they want to sell him at the moment, but as you see there. We can pick him up for quite cheap. So we're going to go ahead and offer around about £350,000 for him. And let's see if uh, West Ham lets their youngster, an up-and-coming talent, let uh, let him go to Sunderland. I don't think they will. But also, another player would like to go in for is Rico Henry. I think this deal could definitely be pulled off because he's only on 1000 a week. So he's not on a lot of money at all. We can go ahead and offer 300000 for the 17-year-old from Walsall. And obviously, he's going to want to step up to a Premier League side. So we are now going to move into the second game up against Chavo Verona, who actually drew their game with Mainz. So if we can beat Chavo, we will definitely be secured a place in the next round. They drew 2-2, so if we can get a result, 
we will definitely be secured to move into the next round and get a little bit of more money. And also, good news for us there is Fabio Barina has scored in the sixth minute. And unfortunately for us, though, we can only end up drawing the game 1 1 as uh, Jan M. Vila actually got sent off in that game as well. A little bit unfortunate, which means he's going to miss the next game. So, Walsall come back to us and say they believe the sum we offered for their left back is too low and they don't want to allow him to leave the club and come to us. So, we offered 300,000. So, it's quite a bit of money, so maybe we're going to go ahead and offer a player that we're not going to use at all, but I don't think there's going to be any people we can actually try and offload. Maybe Tom Robson, another left back, a left back for a left back, and we're going to up it to £350,000 now. Uh, hopefully that will convince Walsall to let their youngster go. He's actually got up to an 18-year-old now, so I am looking forward to bringing him in. But also, good news for us there is West Ham have accepted a £350,000 uh, bid for Reese Oxford. So we're going to go ahead and offer him a contract. He wants 2.9 thousand a week which we will happily give him because that's nothing for a club like us we're gonna offer him a four-year deal and he will become a sporadic first team player Juventus come back and say that they believe the sum is too low and Villarreal come back and say they're not interested in the player we've in actually uh, offered them so maybe we're not going to be able to let him go so maybe seven million for this 21 year old centre-back we're getting quite a bit of money now so I don't know if we want to be offering that much for a player Obviously, we're going to get one of them. So one of the two centre-backs, I'm not sure which one. So maybe £7 million for both. I'm not sure who's the best centre-back, but I do know they've both got heaps of potential. So we now get a transfer offer for Charis Mavrias, a random right midfielder from Bolton. They are offering a little bit under his valuation. So we're going to go ahead and up it to £1.2 which is 100000 over his valuation. And let's say, well, £1.25 And if they go ahead and match that, we will let our 21-year-old midfielder go. Have a Manchester City come back and say they want 1.1 million for Thierry Ambrose, which we did put a 500,000 bid in for. We're not prepared to give him that, but we, what we are prepared to do is offload a striker we've already got, which we're not that keen on keeping, which goes by the name of Danny Graham. He's 29 years of age, so go ahead and offer Danny Graham plus 400,000, but I don't think City are going to actually want a player like Danny Graham, but we'll have to wait and see. Warsaw also come back and say they still don't want to let go of their players, so maybe if we go ahead and offer 500,000 plus Robson that I think I don't want to be offering more money than that half a million for him is quite a lot of money but also good news there as our first signing is going to be joining the club he goes by the name of Reese Oxford so he's not the most the most prestigious signing if you want to put it obviously he's not going to be turning into a first team player straight away but we're going to put him on the training straight away and be able to see how he gets on so now we've got the most important game of them all up against Mainz so they are currently top of the league as well with us but if Chievo Verona beat Werder Bremen and we lose against Mainz, we will be out of the competition. So we've got to get at least a point and try, or obviously better, even better if we could go ahead and pick up all three points. And we draw. We draw. So that's Muto score in the last few minutes, but does that determine whether we're through to the next stage or not? Yes, we are. We go through in second place, I believe, but it doesn't make any difference because... We're through, which is obviously the most important thing. And we get granted an extra million pounds, which is always great news for us there. And um, we're going to go back into the training here. We're going to take out a player that we've got in there. So I think we're going to take out Matthews. No, we're going to take out Watmore, actually. And we're going to put in our new signing. Uh, there he is, Reese Oxford, 62 red. We're going to put him on Beat Your Man and let's see if he can increase quite rapidly. So we're now going to go ahead and put a bid in for Renato Sanchez, a 17-year-old midfielder from Benfica. I think he's going to cost us around about three to four million pounds. So it's going to be quite a lot of money because he's just signed a six-year contract with the club. So we're going to go ahead and offer him a straight three million pounds and let's see if that will convince Benfica to let go of their young 17-year-old midfielder, a Portuguese star as well. And I think he will be very very promising in the future. I also wanted to sign Delhi Ali, but I've seen a few comments in the video saying don't sign him because I had him in the Hertha Berlin career mode, so fair enough, I won't sign him. But another player I would uh, be thinking of maybe signing is this guy. Felipe Anderson is currently from Lazio, he's 22 years of age, but he looks absolutely amazing. So we're going to go ahead and offer a bit of money plus a player that obviously we're going to get rid of straight away, which goes by the name of Adam Johnson. So maybe if we go ahead and offer around about 4 million plus Johnson, that totals around about 10 million. I don't think they're going to accept it, but I think it might give us an indication of how much Lazio actually want for him. And another player we'd be interested in is Andre Carrillo. Um, he looks very decent as well. He's kind of got five-star skills. I do know we probably could pick him up as well on a free deal if we wait until January, but 
January is a long time to wait. So what I want to do is go ahead and offer, obviously, uh, Adam Johnson and offer like two million pounds because obviously he's only got one year left on his contract. So Sporting, if they're intelligent, would let him go. However, we get Juventus have rejected their bid for Rugani, but Villarreal have come back to us and said they will accept £7 million for Bertram Bailey. So we're going to go ahead and offer him a contract, and obviously he will be the player that we go for. So we're going to go for Bailey ahead of Rugani. He will be an important first-team player. He is going to be young, so we're going to need a little bit of experience with the likes of Kabul next to him to give him a helping hand. But I do think he could turn into a really decent centre-back. So another central attacker midfielder we'd like to look at goes by the name of Maxi Million Mayer from Schalke. But the problem is I do think this guy is going to be very expensive. So maybe we can go ahead and offload a player. Uh, Stephen Fletcher we want to keep. Danny Graham we want to get rid of. But it's not really going to help at all, is it? Because a player like a team like Schalke are not going to want people like them. But maybe if we go with Mavrias, try and get rid of Mavrias and offer around about nine million for the central attacking midfielder, only 19 years of age. But he has got tons of potential. He's currently around about the high 70 rating. But I do know he can reach high 80s. Have a Bolton come back to us and say they'll give us 950,000 for Mavrias, which is still under his valuation. So if they go ahead and match his valuation, we will let him go. So they just need to offer £50,000 more and we will let the 21-year-old go, which will then free up a little bit of funds to either bring on Thierry Ambrose or um, Rico Henry. So they both unaccepted the bill, so they don't want to let neither player go. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is basically go ahead and offer around about 800,000 for Thierry Ambrose. Let's see if that will convince City to let their 18-year-old go. And uh, Walsall, they're saying they still don't want to let him go. So maybe we offer 750,000 and Robson. That surely will convince Walsall to let him go. I do know he's got good potential, but... Even if we bring him in, we don't want to be splashing out the cash because he's not going to become a first-team player. So now we've got the semi-final up against Lokomotiv Moscow. So if we can win this game, we're going to get given an extra bit of money as well, which might help. But they actually beat Hanover 5-1, so they must be a good side. However, we've beaten them 2-1. Fabio Barini and Lenz picking up the goals for us as well. We actually picked up a 2-0 lead, but then Busufa scored a goal in the 82nd minute, but we managed to hold on. So we're going to be playing Hanover in the final. So we get a transfer offer for Danny Graham, our 29-year-old uh, striker from Norwich. They've actually offered under his valuation. So if they offer 1.4 million, which I do know they have, they're not short on cash. So they can go ahead and give that. Then we will let them go. Also, Benfica have accepted a 3 million bid for Renato Sanchez. This could be a fantastic signing for us. A 17-year-old will be coming to Sunderland. And I think he could be very decent for us. He's going to be a squad rotation player if he comes in. We will be giving him quite a bit of game time. Don't get me wrong. But we don't want to be offering him important first team in case we can't promise that. And we did get given an extra £2 million for getting to the final. And Stephen Fletcher still saying he's concerned because he's not been in the starting lineup as of late. So Maximilian Meyer says they're not happy, Sporting say they're not happy, and Lazio say they're not happy, so not good news for us there, um, but could we definitely need to bring in a right winger, there's no doubt about it, we need to try and do something, so they're not interested in Johnson, but maybe a 5 million bid plus Johnson, maybe that will convince the 24 year old to leave, Lazio they're still saying obviously they want more money, so maybe 7 million plus Johnson, will that convince them, I'm just trying to get rid of Johnson, that's my main aim today, is just get rid of Johnson, I don't want him at the club, however another player we would be looking at as a backup right winger, Winger would be the likes of Mateus Pereira, currently from Sporting. He's 19 years of age. I do know he is very good because in my Portsmouth career mode, I scouted him and he's currently 84 rated. He's currently Real Madrid, so therefore he must be a decent player. So maybe a straight 4 million bid for the Sporting right midfielder. Maybe that'll convince them. We also need to start looking at striker because I want a good strike partner for the likes of Jermaine Defoe. So a decent striker, maybe Kelechi Iheanacho. We did have him in our Portsmouth crew, but we had to let him go because we couldn't afford him. So he does look pretty good. And they're saying they might only cost around about 1 million. So we're going to go ahead and offer 1 million for the 18-year-old striker. He is on quite a bit of money, 18,000, uh, 18, 15,000, I should say. So it's quite a bit. But Man City have also accepted a bid for Thierry Ambrose and Walsall accepted the bid for Rico Henry. So we're going to bring both these players in. Thierry Ambrose will be a backup striker for us because I do know he's quite quick across the ground and I do think he will be able to if we put him on the training he's going to be able to grow a few ratings also Rico Henry is going to be a backup left back well he's probably going to be our third choice uh, left back he's not going to be playing that often for us but we might buy him and send him straight back out on loan maybe that will help a little bit he will be a sporadic first team player if he does come to us because 
He's not going to be the best player, like I just said, but he's got potential and we're thinking about the future. Also, Bertrand Bailey is saying he wants a little bit more money, so I'm going to go ahead and offer that him a little bit more contract um, money. £40,000 a week is quite a bit of money, but I think it'd be worth it. So Norwich come back to us and say they give us £1.2 million for Danny Graham, which we will go ahead and accept because that is, is in fact, his valuation. And also another player that they've said... We will let Mavrias go. They're saying they only want to give 950,000. Um, he's not in my plans to use him, so we will let him go. However, it is time now for the European International Cup final. It is Sunderland versus Hanover. We're going to go ahead and sim the final. They lost 5-1 against Lokomotiv Moscow, and we just beat Moscow. So can we come up with a victory? Yes, we do. We win 2-1, two, two actually. Uh, Rodwell and Barini scoring the goals for us there. We were 2-0 up. We also missed a penalty, so... We must have a decent side. So we get a few more things come back. Sporting say they don't want to accept the bid for Andre Carrillo. Lazio is saying they don't want to either. But Renato Sanchez has accepted his contract. So he's going to be another player coming into the club. He's currently 17 years of age. So we're going to go, and ha go ahead and have a look, see how uh, good he is. We also get given an extra 2.5 million for winning the competition. And a player is injured and he'll be out for six weeks. So Stephen Fletcher, a bit unfortunate, but he wasn't really going to be in our plan. So it doesn't really matter. But what are we going to do about the right wing position? We need a new right midfielder because we're not going to have Johnson. So 7 million plus Johnson, we're trying to get them to let him go. But it doesn't seem like they want to let him go. Maybe we'll just wait until January and sign him on a free deal. As you can see from the player training here, Renato Sanchez is currently a 72 rated 17 year old. And he looks like an absolute animal. So we can go ahead and put him on El Rondo as it is suggested. And Renato Sanchez is actually close to going up to 73 already. Uh, Reese Oxford as well. Well, close to going up to 63 and them two players at the end I do think will become future stars at the club so guys I cannot believe this we have put in a random bid of 14 million pounds for John Stones and Everton have accepted it you've got to be joking they've accepted a bid for John Stones how is this possible? I thought they was never going to accept. I put it in as basically as a joke just to see how much they actually wanted for John Stones. And they've gone ahead and accepted it. Also, Sporting have said they will accept £4 million um, pounds for Mateus Pereira, the 19-year-old. So go ahead and offer him a contract as well. And he will be a squad rotation player. But if we don't bring in a new right midfielder, he might become a number one uh, right midfielder until we get uh, to January and also Schalke say they want 13.9 million plus Adam Johnson for um, Maximilian Meyer so that's not too bad to be honest maybe if we go ahead and offer 12 million plus Johnson we might be able to bring in a quality centre attacking midfielder and another player joining the club will be Rico Henry the left back from Walsall and to be honest, we've brought in three players so far and they're all squad rotation players. So we've got to get our act together and start bringing in proper players that are going to improve the team at this moment. So we have sold Danny Graham now to Norwich, but we're going to replace him straight away with Cherry Ambrose. Cherry Ambrose will be coming straight into the club and he's not going to be costing us very much money whatsoever. And I think we've probably made money on that. Selling Danny Graham and bringing in Cherry Ambrose, we would have made money. And unfortunately for us again, Bertram Bailey is still saying no to his contract. So maybe he wants 45,000, it's quite a bit of money. So we're going to go ahead and offer him a crucial first team player, 45,000 pounds a week. And let's see if he will come in. But do we prefer Stones, Bailey, or maybe do we splash out the cash and get both of them? So we've now received another transfer offer for Wes Brown, our 35 year old, uh, for Norwich for 300,000 pounds. I don't really want to let him go, but if they match half a million, we might let him go because we're not really going to use him, but he might be on the bench a few times, especially in cup games. Spurs say they won't accept the bid for Harry Kane, so they're just going to reduce that. Uh, they're saying that they don't want to let go of Ian Nacho because we did, in fact, offer a quite a bit of money, I think. We offered 1 million, so maybe if you offer 1.2 million, will that convince them to let go of? the 18 year old striker and come with his former teammate Thierry Ambrose to come to us uh, Sporting is still saying they want to let go of Andre Creo and let's show so we're going to give up on both these players now and Andre Creo we might be able to get in January so I think we're just going to give up on him completely and maybe look at another right winger or a striker so what about this guys Atletico Madrid is still saying they're not going to accept Andre Creo but John Stones has accepted his contract, Mateus Pereira has accepted his contract, and Schalke have accepted a £12 million plus Adam Johnson bid for Maximilian Mayer. This could be magical if we could bring off these players. So John Stones, 
14 million pounds. First of all, we're going to bring this guy in, Mateus Pereira. He's going to come into the club. So we've still got 40, 30, 30 million pounds left to spend. Do we bring in John Stones? Yes, we are. I've made the decision. We're bringing in John Stones. This could be, wow, what a signing that is. Um, also, do we go ahead and bring in Maximilian Meyer or... Do we bring in the Atletico Madrid striker, Angel Correa? We've only got £16 million left, so we can go ahead and offer maybe £10 million plus a player we've already got um, to try and convince Atletico Madrid to uh, let go of their striker. Uh, maybe Will Buckley, plus £11 million. Would well, that convince them? I doubt it, because they're not really going to want Will Buckley, are they? And Schalke. This could be a good deal, but I do need a striker or a centre attacking midfielder. So Norwich have come to us and say they won't accept the bid for Wes Brown, but Bailey have, has accepted his contract eventually. So do we go ahead and bring in another centre back by the name of Eric Bertram Bailey? And then we've got a strong centre back line there. I think that could be a good deal for us. I think we're going to do it. But then we've only got 9 million left, so we're going to stall it for the minute, but we're going to wait and see what happens. So we've got a right dilemma here. Angel Correa has accepted, uh, Atletico Madrid have accepted the bid of 11 million plus Will Buckley for Angel Correa, but Maximilian Meyer has accepted his contract. What do we do? Uh, Kelechi Iheanacho, they're still saying the sum is too low for the other striker that we maybe could be able to bring in. Um, maybe 1.4 million, will that convince them to let him go? Or maybe we just don't need him at all. We've already got Thierry Ambrose. I'm not sure whether we need him, but do we go for Maya? Do we go for a striker? We need a central attacking midfielder. Striker we don't really need. I'm going to have to think about it. So good news for us there, as from the player training, Renato Sanchez has already gone up to a 73 rating, which is perfect news for us there, as I think he will actually be standing in as a number one right winger at the moment until we bring in a future one in January, which we can either bring in a few players but look at this, Francois Camano might be coming to the club. We've, we've put in a bid of 2 million plus Jordi Gomez for Camano because basically we need a left winger. We haven't got one. I know he's stated as a right midfielder, but he can actually play left midfield as well. And he will be in a backup left midfielder, but I do think he looks pretty decent. However, that is in fact going to be it for this episode. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to hit the like button down below as it is going to be hugely appreciated. And I really hope to next time very, very soon for the next episode of the Portsmouth Career Mode. Thank you. Bye-bye.